so I've been in education for eight years. Before this, when I was in college too, I was um, like a paraprofessional. I'd come home and sub and be a paraprofessional over Thanksgiving, Christmas breaks, uh, things like that. So uh, it seems like I've been in education for a while. I'm still learning a lot. This this year and, la and the last year have been been very interesting. Uh, it's been full of new challenges that I think as our school district, we've been doing very, very good at handling those problems as well. Oh, favorite part about being teachers, uh, the, the teachers are great. I, I love them, they're great, they're fun to talk to, but definitely the students are, they're my favorite part about being, uh, being a teacher. And I tell them, even online, my favorite part, the thing I miss most is just hearing the students kind of their little, uh, their conversations they have in the classroom that are, they just make you kind of look like, well, what did they just say? Or, you know, you see the kid, the light bulb comes on and they really understand what um, you're learning or just socially how the kids grow from sixth grade to eighth grade. Um, it's just, it's always, it's neat to see. It's always cool to see. Uh, the biggest challenge for teaching remotely is, I mean, there's, there's many challenges I'll say, um, but just finding new engagement strategies for the students has been the, the biggest uh, hurdle I'll say. It's, it's totally online. So we don't get to see those reactions all the time like we do in person um, where we can instantly have feedback or we, we know exactly kind of what a kid is thinking or we can we can check on a kid during the day where online yes we have email and things like that but we're leaving uh, we're having the kids have to be very responsible they have to be very responsible to look and check their email and um, communicate with teachers and for the most part I think they've been doing a good job as kids or pets or anything whatsoever going on. I applaud the students who have siblings, parents. Um, so that to me has been so impressive that kid, kids can do all this work with other stuff going on. Or I'm someone who, if I'm in front of a computer, I need like no distractions. I need, you know, to get my work done. Uh, where in a classroom is fine with other things going on. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm coming in right now. I probably won't come in every um, day again either but it's nice to come in and still you know come into the school I park in my same spot which I don't need to I don't know why I still do it <laughs> um, but just having that routine as well uh, is, is big for me I like I you'll see some teachers move all their desks like over to the middle we use the whiteboard a little bit sometimes instead of being over there so uh, it, it is helpful to have a, a space to teach from that's for sure well, changed, I sit down a lot more. Uh, <laughs> I usually pace around, uh, so that's a big one, but it, it's, uh, I would say I have to, we have to make sure we are giving kids proper like wait time and things too. Some kids are able to use the microphone and talk and explain their answers, but now kids also can't talk at the same time as others in the same call. So that's been a big challenge for the, us and for the kids. Um, and then even waiting for students to chat and answer. Typing is going to take longer than actually speaking that out. So that's that's been a challenge. But the good thing with that is when the kids are typing or a kid is talking, we could have multiple kids chat and answer at the same time. So we can get a lot of other feedback from the students at once. I find myself taking like, uh, you know, say yes or no, or how do you guys feel about the subject, you know, one, two, three, four, or five. I feel like I, I'm doing that more often online because I can, you know, kids can just chat your answer. Uh, I think kids feel safer. They can privately message on Zoom as well. So, you know, if a kid maybe doesn't feel strong about a subject, they could privately message a teacher. Instead, we're in, um, in a classroom full of their peers. They would might have to raise their hand, talk to a teacher after class. So I think that has been helpful um, for some students as well. This, had, this forced all teachers, whoever's doing e-learning, it forced us to grow, it forced us to change uh, and challenge ourselves and learn, learn new uh, maybe engagement techniques or um, really look at our curriculum that we are, that we're teaching the kids and, and how can we efficiently get it out there. I think I've learned uh, a lot with technology, but we can be kind of creative in how we can get the kids to collaborate with each other. Um, through, we don't have to reinvent the wheel, but just how, how can we take some of the things that we did in person and then still do those, maybe not the same uh, things, but similar things in an 
e-learning or online environment. And so uh, it's, it's been a huge help having, uh, you know, our professional development, our uh, administration. It's that we've had time to kind of create new things or change things, tweak things, however. So, I mean, it's, it's been a challenge, but our staff, I think, has been up for it. And we've been, I think, I think we've done a pretty darn good job um, rising to that challenge. Uh, one message to my students. Uh, yeah, I would say that learning is something that no one can take from you. You can, um, we have a ton of resources out there for students and I would love for them just to be, continue to be lifelong learners. Um, and yeah, keep working hard. E-learning is e gonna be a challenge for everything, for everyone, excuse me. And I just appreciate all of their hard work and responsibility and I really do think um, our students here at the junior high and and I'm sure at all the other uh, district schools are doing just a fantastic job so I appreciate all their hard work.